All right, next step we'll do is, you know, we want to work on footwork, okay? This isn't as much for just straight up run, but we do a ton of agiles. I want to see these guys move their feet extremely quick. So we'll do this to warm up. You know, like I said, when we do Indy, we do our everyday drills, and then we do stuff where we want to, you know, fit up what we're going to see that week. That's realistic to what we're going to get on the field. Okay, when we do these agiles, we start with just going one foot in each one. And we want quick feet, but I don't want these guys playing high. Everything's still with chest over the toes. I want to drive from the hips as I go over the top of that thing and not just hop over the top. So we get better as we go here, but we've got to keep our chest over our toes. Really pump from the arms still as we run. So now we just go two feet in each hole. Work those things, firing the pistons. Got to keep our eyes up. We converted offensive line, so we're kind of working through some of this stuff. See, this isn't good either because he's kind of down. I want to get those feet in and out extremely quick. All right, and then we'll do other things just to, for the change of direction. Okay, then we'll get over lateral. All right, and then we're planting and really moving to a target. Just the same as if it's a boot or something like that, or if it's speed option, I gotta stick my foot in the ground and really get there as quick as possible. Don't want any wasted steps. So these guys like this stuff. I mean, just kind of creating indie whenever you get this time, you know, we don't want to kill them this morning, but creating competition within the own group. If we set up two different drills to really make them compete. You know, it keeps things fun. It keeps things fresh throughout the week when it's week 10 and it's freezing outside. Just have them compete up there for a little while. Yeah, this was a good idea of that one. For this one, let's skip ahead just to make sure. Okay, we kind of implemented this right into uh, the agiles as well. We kind of work cut blocks as we go over the top. We're working lateral. Boom, we're striking with the cut as we finish. Okay, with this, we didn't really do a good job this day, but what I want out of this is we're really pretending that the top of this bag is the helmet as they come through with our kneecap. Okay, and what we can't have happen is as that thing comes to strike us, is really kind of pat it on the back and allow it through to our knees. I want to see their hands strike the top of it, okay, impede the progress, and then you might have to give up a little bit of ground and then finish. Okay, but if you hit the top of the bag and allow him to get into your legs, you're accepting them into your body to allow them, allow them to cut it. We're really aiming to have a bat right there. Just kind of tapped it right into his leg. <coughs> All right, and then we do one where uh, we flip to hips. I like kind of throwing this into any drill that you can. I mean, they're almost working on pass rush when they don't even know it, but when they can flip the hips, really continue with the smooth transition, I think that's big time. Okay, good job. Again, striking the top of the helmet and keeping progress, giving up a little bit of ground, not a great job right there. Hit the top of the bag. Got know which way to go. Yeah, this isn't the greatest day we had with this. Get rid of that was the one. Strike the top of that bag. That was a good one. Just giving up a little bit of ground to finish. I don't have a lot of drill tape, so I'm not trying to pick on this guy, but I have to show this clip. It might be in America's Funniest Home Videos when it's all said and done. Okay, Coach Dickinson is our former GA, and uh, we love him to death. But, okay, he starts to kind of lose his uh, balance here. All right, he comes back in. Okay, he recovers well. <laughs> Makes the guy easy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> we almost just called it a day and went home after that. <laughs> it's a slick quote. Cool, we gotta mop this thing before we get in there, I guess. <laughs> but, <laughs> make sure when you guys do this thing that you slow it down. Just slow it down. <laughs> Everybody pretty much just stopped. Anyways, we'll move on from there. But 
Might have to slow the drill down. Okay, we'll do agiles too. We've had a 45, just like the step and recover. Okay, I'm attacking a block. I'm gaining ground with that front foot. And we just add the cutoff of it. We don't have to watch all these. Just different ways to get their feet going, working at different angles, flipping the hips at the top. <coughs> Coach Hoffman just got there. I wish he would have been in a couple minutes earlier. Thank you, Paul.